bells on the air See there it's crushing the final impression Stays on the paper well what's fell like water On earth all the changes that never did matter I think it's beginning to freeze here Cold in the rage and the fire of things All the brightness that burns Fumbling through like a child in the dark When the nakedness comes I am shocked by the color Glorious way to your skin comes alive And I never thought we'd make it back so soon Mark the nights But I knew you'd be your own destroyer Comes a time And I never thought I'd make it up to you So we chatted for a bit, and in the conversation, she said those words that I hear all the time. She said, I'd love to do something like that, but I'm just not creative. And while I'm flattered, that statement drives me absolutely crazy, because the statement, I'm not creative, implies that creativity is something that you're born with or you're not. Like I sit down at the piano, I crack open a bottle of whiskey, and then I just wait. <laughs> Sometimes I do. <laughs> for divine intervention to come and whack me across the head. And then the songs just pop, come popping up fully formed, like popcorn or bubbles. And while I wish that was true, the reality is that creativity is 95% work and discipline, and just 5% inspiration. And you never get to the 5% that you desperately want and need, unless you do the 95% that's work. I spent a year every day working on that song, St. Louis River, and I probably wrote 30 different courses for it before I found the right one to record. Now I'm not suggesting that after this, you're gonna go write a hit song, or you will paint like Picasso, and I will probably never be the next Steve Jobs. But I really do believe that every person has within them the capacity to be much more creative. In its simplest form, creativity is really just the process of taking ideas, mixing them together, and making something new. It's very simple. And it's the same if you're an artist, an entrepreneur, in marketing, business, whatever you do. The hard part is trying to find the right ideas to combine together, and then figuring out how to mix them up so you get amazing results. And that's what I want to talk to you about today. Some of the essential elements of developing a more dynamic and open creative process, while at the same time increasing the frequency of getting better results. So whenever I'm thinking about a new creative project, I always go to the source, and I start at the beginning, which for me is here. Now, this is the three-year-old me, and this person with the bow and arrow holds the keys to creativity, because he's got this incredible open imagination, and he's constantly drawing outside of the lines because he doesn't see the lines. And he can do this because he doesn't know, understand, or care about the rules. But as we go through life, we naturally start to learn all the rules. The rules of law, the rules of work, the rules of relationships, and a million other tiny unwritten rules that we start to follow. And we love the rules, right? Because they give us dependable and predictable outcomes. And in life, that's what we want. If I'm driving in my car and I've got a green light, and you are driving your car and you've got a red light, I love knowing that when we get to the intersection, you're going to stop. In the real world, we want and need predictable outcomes. But creativity is not the real world. In the world of creativity, we want incredible outcomes. We want amazing outcomes. We want outcomes we never could have imagined at the beginning of the process. And for that, we need to step outside of the rules. So when you guys came into this room today, you know what to expect, right? You would be sitting in the seats, and I would be standing up here on the stage. Because that's normal. That's what's expected. In the theater, this invisible wall that separates us it's called the fourth wall, and it's a rule and an understanding we all have of how this relationship is going to work. From your seats, you each get a perfect proscenium view of the stage, which means you all have a very similar experience. I get the safety of distance and elevation, so I can do my thing with authority. But this wall that separates us is imaginary. It's a social construct and a rule that exists only in our minds, and we can cross it at any time. 